And two other things. What I really like is, well, first of all, I now have syntax highlighting here. So it's going to tell me, map, there's something wrong right here. So even if I scroll right here. And second of all, I can refactor stuff easily, such that, for example, if I rename this variable, I can simply change it in one place and it's going to automatically change it in every place. And my really most used feature, control, shift, and backspace. It goes back to the last position I edited, which is really, really useful. I use this one all the time. All right, as much for simple PyCharm. I also want to show you one other feature of PyCharm, which is only there in the professional edition actually, but which I also grew to really love, and that's the profiling. With profiling, you can figure out what of your program is making it so slow. So it simply goes through, it simply runs your code normally, but checks how long the interpreter took for every single part of your code. All right, so imagine I had this file. So this is simply a thousand times doing stuff and doing other stuff. And this do stuff, does some calculations, some loop, returns some stuff. This do other stuff takes this huge, so this is a huge list, so it's a five million element list, and then makes a random element and then checks if this random element is inside this list. How does it do that? Well, it checks if this element is in the list. Okay. And now if I want it, I would notice this takes forever. And now PyCharm has the profiler, like I said, that's only there in PyCharm Professional. Now this here, again, will run and check how long it takes in every single function. And now I could wait until I get some well, statistically meaningful result, but I could stop already now. And now if I simply stop it, PyCharm will tell me now this giving me the call graph. So this is the call graph, which function called which function, and it will give me statistics. So which functions were called, how often were they called, and how much time did my program spend in this? Now I see check was called a couple of times, so as often as do stuff, so I went through this loop so far uh, 331 times, but inside this check function, I really spend most of the time. So 14 seconds, which is 97% of all the time, it's spent in this check function. And now I know, okay, so now, so apparently this here, all these calculations weren't what the problem was, but only what inside the check function was, was the problem. And that is that I'm checking B and A. So apparently this check here is, so checking if something is inside this list is slow. Well, now that I did that, I can figure out that, well, if this takes long, well, I know of another data structure for the, the in operation, checking if something is in there is a lot faster. So now I'm simply converting this to a set because I don't need it all of it. I'm simply checking if something is in there. And now if I profile it again, it's a lot faster. And I see that this check method went thousand times but didn't take any time. So using the profiling, and this is also kind of an example I already had. So this shows you where your code is slow and where you can improve your code if you see it's a lot too slow and you want to make it faster. Really nice feature of professional IDEs.